Я весь час змагаюся. I compete all the time. If not in sports, then in something else. It's a hobby. It's a hobby. Sergei Ilnitsky, 48 years old, serviceman of the Ukrainian Volunteer Army, wounded in combat in 2010 during a peacekeeping mission with the armed forces of Ukraine. At the Invictus Games, he will compete in indoor rowing. Can you explain the formal side here? How are you a colonel of the Ukrainian armed forces, but in the team you are a captain? Which rank holds more honor for you? It's colonel captain with a dash. It's not unheard of. Colonel Ilnitsky is the captain of Ukraine's team at the Invictus Games. He and his friend fought for the Donetsk airport and both were involved in the production of the film Cyborgs, a war drama depicting the infamous battle. Sergei appears on screen in the four-episode miniseries based on cyborgs. Andrei himself became the inspiration for Serpent, the main protagonist. To be honest, every soldier calls their children, their close ones, their family. This scene rings true for every one of us. After meeting Sergei Nitsky, the lead actor Vyacheslav Dozhenko was so moved that he joined the ranks of the volunteer battalions himself. At the Invictus Games, he will be holding his fingers crossed for his friend. The coolest thing there is the atmosphere. It's a family atmosphere. It's competitive in the best sense of the word. The guys really support each other. I believe the time will come and this competition will take place in Kyiv. We'll do everything to make this happen, and it'll be very good for all the veterans. Sergei became a volunteer in 2014, following the example of his son. I asked him, where are you off to? He says, Father, I was born in this country and will defend it. It took me a few months to find out which unit he was in. It turned out he was in the Ukrainian Volunteer Corps. As soon as I found out, I immediately knew where I belonged. I found out a few months after we first met. He never told anyone, so nobody knew that his son was among the first volunteers to go to war. Sergei continues his service after his tour at the front line. The war isn't over, he says. For him, the Invictus Games are another opportunity to remind the world about this. This is about recognizing, first and foremost, that we have a war going on. It's about bringing to the attention of the world community that there is active fighting in the country, a European country, in the 21st century.